Okay, hello dear friends. Let's take a look. This time we do two books to begin with. <laughs> Maybe uh, we will add some more. So it's the same series and uh, there are something quite similar, the, the editing of the book, but uh, the content is different. The contents are different. This one is Lotus Flower and this is the artist Jin Jiancheng. And uh, the style of painting is uh, so uh, lovely and so so um, so subtle and so elegant style. You can see first step, second step, a layer of base color and then add more color until totally finished. So the color is very harmonious and uh, and uh, nothing really sudden. It's uh, it makes you feel comfortable to see this color, right? At least it makes me feel comfortable and, uh, and uh, very soft and tender. The artistic style is uh, just uh, so admirable. The finished work. He does not use too much color. He walked his way very delicately and very unique. We like this book because each book is different, each artist is different. And by seeing different art style, it actually encourages us to, to create our own art and find our own self. The good thing about this book is that you can see here are the color, and this color you do not really need to know the name. Once you have the same color, you have a color that is the same, you can do the adjustment. 80% of this red and 20% of orangish red, you make red. So the color do not, you can see that usually uh, the artist does not use pure color. It's two or three colors combined, or two color, uh, three color, two or three color combined. So every color is containing another color and there is a percentage of it. Every color is, con is, is a, a mixture of other colors. So the color is more harmonious. And this is the structure of the lotus. I like lotus and I kept by, uh, buying lotus books because it's so expressive and it's so complete. I mean, it's, uh, it's simple, not simple, but simple because big leaf, and it's a perfect way of learning color, learning structure. And for beginners, it's uh, you do not get lost into too much detail, the different flower shape, petal shape, but the shape is quite uniform. But you change the, the direction and change the size to make it, uh, to make it uh, uh, vary. So it's... Um, Lotus flower, you see. You see, from the very beginning, uh, shape becomes so complicated and so expressive. I like it. So this book is mainly for these outlines, and at the beginning there are a few pages of uh, finished work so that you can take a reference. But this one, but this book is ma mainly actually as your your blueprint for for your own painting of course you may not uh, uh, do exactly the same you just take some reference but uh, the structure of uh, of the painting are are quite uh, interesting right and quite good once you put in color it will be really quite uh, uh, unique 
it has a beautiful arrangement of layout arrangement of the painting is great so this one is a water bird the bird that lives beside the water in the water shui qin water bird liu shouping this gentleman is the artist so first you see step by step uh, the painting how it is done and uh, his painting is actually very detailed you can see it's the same painting use uh, five or six steps another painting four pages we get the painting and some sample works by the artist another one that is so um harmonious color and so soft tender color and i like this one it's just a little a brush stroke of color make it so interesting there there is some color on it as the background okay again this one has the color combination of uh, of uh, of color and uh, this artist is different from the other artist the first artist we have we have seen he used four colors three color he use uses more colors to 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 combine his uh, color and uh, again this one is mostly for outlining actually you can get this book and make a photocopy and uh, and do the um, do the um, the coloring pencil or pen it's a very good uh, arrangement of uh, of uh, the bird of uh, the background it's uh, a beautiful it's uh, a very well sought layout plan and uh, with different kind of uh, uh, bird movement and action make it quite uh, vivid okay thank you very very much you will find this book on my online store on my Yiqi shop bye bye for okay here we have two different two books Gong Bi Cao Chong Cao Chong Cao is grass Chong is uh, insects and in Chinese painting uh, the insects is one of uh, one of a very typical uh, painting subjects dragonfly cricket and um, it's it's just very vivid and very interesting you put uh, birds and uh, put a little a butterfly is good but when you put insects into it it brings a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, liveliness into the painting and it has d developed into a particular uh, art form or art Ooh, gosh Ooh. I cannot do that anyway uh, it becomes a unique art uh, expression it shows the liveliness of the painting and the artist used a style again it's very very light very tender oh look at it it's so pretty The blue dragonfly looks simple and easy and uh, oh this one I really like this um, um, it's um, suddenly I forgot the name this one is uh, daffodil daffodil Oh, see, there is a, a ladybug brings the painting really lively. Look at it. It's interesting, right? And this one has a, a butterfly. 
and in such detail and such uh, uh, such detail and such uh, close up of the butterfly. I like the color of here very interesting. You just let the color run and color find its own way. It's more natural. And there are inserts in it. There is a big page, a large page, so that uh, when you do a large painting, it's perfectly uh, already outlined. You can copy that one. Another one. This one must be beetles, I think. There are a lot of uh, of this painting. Very unique, don't you think so? Oh, look at this bamboo. Mm. Okay. So this is inside. Oh, look at it. finished work Jiang Donglian again I have bought a lot of books by Jiang Donglian I think she's very active in in this publishing and in the education of uh, of um, oh this background are so lovely in the education and bring up uh, the goodness of uh, the general good. This is another one. Let's see who is the artist. It's roughly the same thing, but not exactly the same thing. It might be the same artist. Yes, Jiang Donglian. It is. The, this is by the same artist, but um, I think she paints a lot, and this is a different book. Kind of same, a little bit different by different publishing house, and an insert inside. Oh, this has more pages, four pages of big inserts inside. So you can see really in very very great detail. Of, see the background color, very very smart. Even just this flower is so unique. And there are some uh, reference design you can do accordingly. And that is, oh, look at it. If you are not that good at uh, the, the praying monk, only this flower is, is good, right? Okay, thank you very, very, very much. I love you, I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye-bye for runs. Okay, this one is um, peony, and uh, it's very large in great detail. And this one is called zhong cai. Zhong is heavy, heavy color, but um, you can see the flower in great detail. And uh, peony. It's kind of interesting once you understand such a complicated flower structure or arrangement, you will be good at painting anything else. And uh, and the trunk is uh, is very very strong and very characteristic. 
so this is the color and you make color um, much more bold color but the end of it is really interesting look at it so it's um, there is a lot of color but all this color quite uh, quite well arranged don't you agree put a layer of black and then red layer after layer. Look at this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't care. Oh, look at this black background. That's very interesting. I love it. I love it. So there are inserts in there. Three inserts, four inserts, kind of makes sense. Well, look at this color. It's heavy. The color is is strong, but there is a, a harmony in this color, which I really like. The background is is dark, and the flower is white. And there is a special technique to to roll the paper that I I really like. Mm -hmm. So you roll the paper, you draw do the background and everything finish. You you you, you finish the the outline and then roll it, roll it and then put some water and uh, make it flat and keep on painting. I like it. Very smart. So the flower has more texture in it. May not be perfect texture, but uh, really interesting to see. And in Chinese painting, roll a paper and uh, scramble, scramble a paper is a very common, common uh, technique in Chinese painting. Jiang Donglian again, how good she is. Okay, that is it. You can find them in my five books in one video. That's good. Bye bye, friend. If you are interested in one particular book, it's better that you show me the, um, the minute mark. For example, in five minutes, that book or book number one, two, three, four, so that I can, I can locate it. And also, you can find it on my online shop. Bye-bye, friends.